Okay, so basically for um, the campus pride meetings, which is diversity, basically a gay club, but, but they call it pride, so it's all diversity, and we like straight people too, so it's cool. Okay, anyway, for pride, um, we decided to like compile a list of all the movies and books and stuff that we individually have that are, you know, on the alternative lifestyle, as Amazon.com puts it. But, um... So I was getting my list together. I was all excited. I was like, I'm gonna write all my gay stuff and it's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna be this massively long list because I feel like basically that's all I've been watching lately anyway. It's either something gay, lesbian, musicals. <laughs> Not to point of stereotypes here. But, um, stuff like that. Or gender issues, gender studies, anything. I've been watching a lot of Eddie Izzard who's a massive, tra awesome transvestite. So I thought that, you know, I had some street cred. I got to look at all the stuff they actually have. I'm not even talking about like actual copies instead of bootlegs and copies and stuff. I mean just, I'm not even separating it there. It's just all the stuff I have, like completely, that's real and that's copies of stuff. I have like a dozen things on my list here. And I'm just going to read it off to you because really it's sad and I need help. Okay, I need someone to tell me, hey, you need to watch this movie because it's gay and it's awesome. Or because it's gay and it's terrible. Either way, really. Debs is on my list, which is awesome and bad at the same time. It's so cliche. It's awesome. Anyway. Okay, I've got that. I have Edward's Glen or Glenda. Uh, Big Eden, which is a Sundance movie and it's awesome. And I've got Xerophilia on the list, which is technically not gay, but it's about these people that can change their sex every time they have an orgasm. I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's awesome. So it's on my list, okay? Um, I've got the, uh, Fabulous, the story of queer cinema, which is a documentary on, basically, the queer cinema movement, which, it's awesome, it makes me watch a billion different movies that I can't get my hands on because, you know, they're completely independent. Um, The uh, Transgeneration, uh, first season of Torchwood, first season of The L Word, second season of Queer as Folk, Strangers with Candy, all three seasons, and the movie, which technically isn't really gay. But, uh, the main character is bisexual, technically. She likes the pole and the hole. Um, and then you've got Stephen Colbert, who's having a secret gay love affair. So, I mean, I figure that's, that's at least gay enough, right? Plus it's amazing and satirical and awesome. Um, and then on VHS, which is sad that I, these aren't even real VHSs. They have stuff that I'm like, hey, it's on IFC and I'm gonna tape it. So I've got um, Edward, Hedwig and the Angry Inch, and Love and Death on Long Island, which Love and Death is amazing. But that is it. And I've got like, yeah, it's like a dozen things. And it's just really sad to me that this is all I have. So please just tell me what I need to watch because I need to watch random gay things that are awesome and terrible at the same time. So please just throw me a lifeline. Tell me what's up. Help me out here.